There you go, there you go, there you go. Yep. No, stay on. That, that can be a double digit right there. <laughs> Y'all, before we kick off the best fishing session Devin and I have ever had, new PBs twice in one day, I want to give a huge shout out to R1 Concepts. They literally hooked us up with full brake kits for our car and truck. Knowing all the abuse, we put it through towing the hot tamale down south. And after putting over 1,000 plus miles on these brakes, I wanted to extend an offer your way to get 20% off through R1 Concepts with code WEST. And the link is going to be down in the description. If you guys need any brake parts, go ahead and check them out. Whether it's just pads, you need new rotors, or if you even simply want to upgrade to a drilled and slotted kit like we did, they have all the options for you. They've got brake kits to fit virtually any type of car. Go ahead and check them out down in the description and save 20% on your next purchase when you need some new brakes. Let's go ahead and catch these giants. What's going on y'all? Welcome to Gallant Elm Creek Ranch property down here near San Antonio. It's technically Medina, Texas. The property is one of the most beautiful we've fished. Look at the mountains in the background. They got a John boat on site, which is perfect because the water levels are extremely low right now. We brought our bass boat from Dallas because we've been fishing some big lakes and today we're switching things up and we're rocking the on site John boat that they've got for you here. We just got a couple paddles. We got a rope in case we need to tie up. Storms have been fast approaching. So we're just kind of expecting potentially some winds to get mixed in and don't want to rely on the fact that it's very calm now so we've got the rope to tie up two paddles in case we got to skedaddle back to the bank real quick and we're going to see if we can showcase some of the best fishing in texas through private water fishing let's go ahead and get launched this spot has such clear water we can't wait to showcase it let's go <laughs> With the Joe Rogan limited edition kill cliff. <laughs> Looks like the plug is holding up, y'all. So we're in good shape. Let's get out of here. Devin's gonna start off with the frog, y'all. We saw some bass blowing up off of this point. There's a nice little transition from this grass flat to the depths. I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a weightless Sanko to get started, y'all. There we go. Weightless Sanko, slow fall in this clear water, nice and calm. If that don't get it, uh, I don't know what to tell you. In case you were wondering what we were holding on to in the intro, we got a kill cliff. We uh, dropped into a CrossFit gym out here, and it was like Padre Island. Yeah, we we're right near Corpus Christi, and sick little spot. Anyways, we walked away with a limited edition Joe Rogan inspired, like spicy pineapple CBD kill cliff. Oh, I don't know. Never tried it. We'd be like, oh, no. oh, oh, I had one, or do I have them? Oh no. We've been fishing a lot of dirty Texas water, y'all, and fishing plenty of top waters and. Just uh, different things to throw with braid, heavy applications. So we tied on a few leaders tonight uh, utilizing a double uni knot. You can potentially see it right there in front of the lens, but it might be tough on this little GoPro. Regardless, I'm going with a watermelon red flake slash sandy uh, <laughs> lunker log to start things off. That's the six inch Sanko by Guggen Bates. And I'm just gonna cast straight out. Oh, sick. Well, never mind. Oh, 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 had some hits. He's, oh, he's on. He's on. We got the first one of the day. It might be a little bluegill. <laughs> is it a bass? Oh, my microscopic. <laughs> that is what we're talking about. Oh, well, there we go, y'all. First one off the property. Maybe they'll hit the cranks off the point right here. Devin is throwing the saucy swimmers, so maybe we can get a little bit more of a reaction bite. Get a couple little ones to eat it and then uh, fire up a big one. That's the goal right there. Maybe it's the weather today. It was literally, it's been 100 degrees out here on our whole southern Texas trip. Just breaking a sweat, walking outside for like 30 seconds, and it dropped like 30 degrees. It's low 70s right now. There was just a little bit of rain that passed by. I threw some top water. We saw some fish hitting the surface. You know, it's kind of, people will say to do that after some rain, but didn't get too much action. So resorted to the cranks and I'm over here just like almost cold in this tank top at like 70 degrees. This is nuts. Oh my, oh, 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 he hit it pretty hard. <laughs> Is that a crappie? <laughs> it's a bass. I thought that one actually had some size. You might need to, uh... oh, I'm switching to a crank yeah, I was going to say, you might switch to a crank. <laughs> oh, 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 simmer down. Oh, nice. That was close to the boat that time. He chased it out. You're going to hit the tree with that. Every <laughs> time I forgot. Oh shit! Oh oh! Oh wow! <laughs> what do you have? Is that a good one? We don't have a net on here. I'm gonna help you land it. I'm gonna help you land it. See that hook set though? Oh, this is good. I think it is good. 
I think it's a good one. Oh my god! Oh. That's your biggest fish you've ever you've ever caught. Biggest fish you've ever caught, hands down. Hands down. Just just be easy with it. Just be easy. Do you feel like it's gonna break that? There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. No, stay on. That might be what you think. Eight pounds? What do you think? Nine pounds? That that could be a double digit right there. <laughs> that might. What do you think? Eight pounds? What do you think? Nine pounds? That's pretty big right there. <laughs> That's pretty big. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. No, you got it. Oh, I'm getting it. Just I just gotta have a little camera rolling back here. You know. Keep your cool. Bring it over. Bring it over. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. You're good. Loosen that drag if you think he's gonna snap you. That's only 15 pound now. That's a big fish, Devin. Bring that fish right over here. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Fight it out. You're good. I'm scared. I'm you're scared. I know, I know. Look, he's, he's got the hammer hook. I think you're good. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> fish. <laughs> That's a big fish, Devin. <laughs> That's a big fish. I'm shaking. Do you see my hands? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be your PB. <laughs> oh. oh no, Joe! You're good. You're Joe! Good. You're good. You're good. Oh my gosh, we're going into the bank. I'm shaking like crazy. I was just about to cut this Texas rig off, and then I picked it up, and Wes was like, Are you gonna cast that into the tree? And I was like, Well, I was about to put a crankbait on, and oh my gosh. I'm trying to gather myself. I cast it right literally on the tree. I was still sitting down. I hadn't even stood up and I let it just fall to the bottom. I had one little pop and I felt boom, boom. I set that hook. We knew it was big right off Instantly, the bat. <laughs> I knew it was big. Will you look at that mouth? Yeah, that's, that's good. Weston. That was the perfect tree. It was literally isolated right out there in the middle. Like that was the perfect tree to hit for a big bass. Big summer bass on the Mondo Worm. Insane, Devin. I called the Mondo Worm. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, she wanted to fish. She wanted to break out and fish the Mondo Worm today. Perfect day to do so. Oh my gosh. It's Summertime day, bass. So and we literally have like two more hours. We got hours of daylight. The breeze picked up, so we're definitely going to be paddling our butts off with this little breeze that picked up. But uh, we got to get this thing on the scale. What are we doing? We're trying to see if it's a new PB. She's just letting it recover in the water real quick. So. Always want to make sure you're taking care of not just the little ones, but the big healthy ones for sure, keeping them in good health. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale and see what it weighs. Seven. Seven, seven point zero two. <laughs> That's your new TV. Oh dang. I finally hit the seven. Finally hit the seven. Oh dang. Oh, Absolutely crazy. <laughs> to resume fishing y'all just let that giant go holy smokes babe congratulations it is actually labor day and one of the reasons why we came out to this lake is because we were fishing lake austin uh, this weekend and it was insane with boat traffic i mean leisure boaters like you have never seen and with private water fishing you get to actually book a lake and have it all to yourself for the entire day it's no one out here on this 28 acre lake but us and I say 28 acres, it's a little bit uh, less than that right now because the water is so low down in the San Antonio area. Kind of besides the point, you're able to get out and fish a spot that you have all to yourself. You don't have to worry about other boaters trying to beat you to the good fishing spots on the lake. You also don't have to worry about the waves from the leisure boaters, which is what we were experiencing heavily on Lake Austin, and it really killed the bite in certain areas. We actually caught our biggest fish of the weekend in a no-wake zone, so <laughs> if that tells you anything about what the boat traffic might do to the fishing. So anyways, if you guys want to fish properties like this one, we'll leave it linked in the description, privatewaterfishing.com. You can actually save $50 off your initiation fees with the code down there as well. So get out there and catch your new PB on some private water properties out here in Texas, y'all. Got him. Come on, come on. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was pretty close to the um, same tree you caught the big one off of, but uh, this is like the skinniest bass of the whole trip. What the heck? Oh, got him. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Oh. 
Oh, snapped me off. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just... I just got very unlucky. I, like, had him for a second. Just came right out of the mouth. Interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, God. You got another good one, maybe. Same tree. <laughs> Easy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. It gets crazy out here on this thing. Yes. Was he, like, right on the tree or, or no? Yeah, man. These fish are warm. Yeah. This dude. water must be really hot. I bet. It's been so hot here lately. We're just cold today. Nice. Yeah? Is it a fish? Yes. Yeah, it is a fish. Nice one. Nope. Oh, oh, I just had something eat this one at the surface. What the heck is going it's on over here? It might be big, huh? Um, the drag. I think you're... Oh my gosh, is that bigger than the last one? That's like freaking huge. That's huge. Is that the T-Rig still? Alright, don't, don't tighten that drag too much now because that could snap. Yep, yep, yep. Easy does it. This one could be bigger. That look, that mouth looked pretty daggum big. Holy smokes. I'm recording. I am, I am. I got you. Devin wasn't recording, and she just like hooked up with a second giant. You might need to dip that rod a little bit. Oh, is it as big? I can't tell. Maybe it's not as big. Mm, it's okay. That's big fish. Uh, maybe it's bigger. <laughs> this is so tough to... <gasps> it's pretty freaking big. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's pretty big. Oh my gosh, that's really big. Oh my gosh. Yep, 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 yep. Wow. Wow, that's bigger. That's bigger. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's bigger. I think that's bigger. That's bigger. Oh my gosh. Wow. A Mondo giant again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but that, Devin was just like, let's work over here. I'm like, nah, it doesn't even look good. <laughs> she throws the Texas ring in there. That's bigger than your last one. Oh my gosh. It is, it's it's it? bigger. Let's put it on the scale right away. <laughs> I think we might have found our new favorite PWF property. Uh, it kind of seems like we are going to have to start traveling down to the San Antonio area more often by the looks of it. So should you. Eight, three, four. <laughs> Eight, three, four. <laughs> when I thought today honestly couldn't get any better, <sighs> look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. One more look at that absolute tank. My new, new PV. Yep. All right, y'all, and on that note, I have switched over to the Mondo Worm as well. We are now both throwing the big PB catchers, so <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, I got a bee. He's just chilling on my eyelids. <laughs> Maybe he's good luck. I could use some luck. I haven't caught much. Oh, that was a, that was a bite. Oh my gosh. I think it was bluegill because it was like a it like tipped the rod and I didn't feel any weight and then I waited for it and I didn't feel any more weight and now my worm feels heavy so he's definitely spiraled on that hook I think that was a small fish that was going after it as I'm talking about how I haven't had any luck I could care less Devin just caught her PB twice huh <laughs> this is crazy I wonder if it was the Joe Rogan CBD drink keeping us cool <laughs> you were super calm on that second one you didn't think it was as big <laughs> that's funny <laughs> I'm getting a lot of hits, but it's just little yeah, fish. Like I've got, I've got hits right now. There's like little fish all over this spot, which means there's big ones that are coming around cruising and eating. Pro tip for all you vloggers, the Guggen Squad money bags actually double as a camera protector. So you can just toss your camera under that bad boy. There you go. Good for rain or shine. I've got something on here, but it's like not big. I was just trying to reel it in and not catch him, but <laughs> everything I've caught has been under two pounds. It was head shaking like so crazy when you like when you first set the hook, the rod tip was going like nuts. I was like, eh, that might be a bluegill. Little guy. Oh, or is he just running some weird way with it? Yeah, he's a little guy. first double up. Yeah. There you go. Wow.
wrapping it up an absolute amazing day down here in southern Texas and to complete the tour holy smokes two new PBs for Devin all in the same day this property it's gonna be tough to leave but we got to get to our hotel we actually booked a room at the Best Western at the cowboy capital of the world they call the city and so we ended up getting extremely lucky with the weather it was pouring on us on the way here we decided to cover up the bass boat and when we got here it kind of cleared up then there's like more lightning like way off in the distance we're like what's gonna happen everything ended up coming together though and it worked out in our favor a hundred percent well I mean I caught some dinks but you know Devin it worked out for her definitely want to thank private water fishing for getting us out on this property right here remember if you guys want to book it for yourself completely private go ahead and do so links are down in the description all the information provided We'll see you guys out here to catch some giants. Yeah, don't go catching PBs without one of these either. Grab that on the website as well.